Hello everyone, I'm Ricky Grove, Managing Editor of Renderosity.com, and you are watching News of the Week for July 27, 2015. We chose for the Gallery of the Week this week the LightWave Gallery. LightWave is a 3D application uh, created by New Tech. It's been around for a long time. It was one of the first major applications uh, to be used primarily on television. Uh, it's revived itself recently and uh, some superb work is being done in our gallery with it. Let's take a look at uh, some clips that I created for our Gallery of the Week video. Our reviewer Nick has got an interesting review of Red Giant Films' Aaron Rabinowitz and Seth Worley this week. Make sure you check that under the industry news category on the front page of renderosity.com. Our Christmas in July 2015 giveaway continues into its fourth week. Make sure you stop by and check our vendors who have given away many items for free and find out what else they're offering. There's a lot of quality stuff there and uh, you should take advantage of this. It will finish the uh, July, Christmas in July sales will finish on uh, July 31st at the end of the month. So get on over there and take a look. Renderosity.com will have a booth at SIGGRAPH this year. SIGGRAPH is the big uh, computer graphics conference that takes place every year. It's fantastic. And I'm really happy to see Renderosity with a booth there. We're planning events. If you are somebody who lives in Los Angeles or you're visiting uh, SIGGRAPH this year and you're a Renderosity member, contact us through the contact page at renderosity.com. Uh, my name is G Tune. You can contact me there. That's G T O O N. We'd love to feature you at the booth or work something out with you to uh, share your art uh, at our booth. So contact us and let us know. We have a lot of interesting things planned. On a last note for Renderosity news, I recently had the opportunity to use our uh, free stuff section at uh, renderosity.com. I'm always amazed at the things you can find there. Very high quality stuff for free. My thanks to all the uh, artists and vendors who have given that stuff for free. Stop by and take a look. Uh, I think you'll be very pleased at the uh, huge amount of stuff that's for free at renderosity.com. In industry news, uh, SimplyMaya.com has a superb uh, Maya tutorial called Birdie the Cartoon Dinosaur. It takes you through the modeling creation of Birdie and also the texturing using Photoshop and other applications. Um, I believe it's about $30. Uh, check out their website. Uh, if you're a Maya user and you or a new Maya user and you want to get started, this is a great place to, to get going. International news, uh, China has lifted their 14-year-old ban on console games. This is going to open up a huge market for uh, artists and uh, computer graphics uh, professionals uh, for creation of content to fill all of that. And also hardware aside, there will be a lot of sales. It'll be interesting to see how that develops since China has had a focus on PC games uh, up till now. Adobe Illustrator 2015 CC has had a recent update. They've added uh, Creative Cloud uh, charts. So if you're somebody who needs to make charts, you'll be able to do that through Illustrator. They've uh, included Adobe Stock, and they've also integrated their uh, application with uh, most of their mobile apps. Uh, let's take a, look, take a look at a short video that uh, shows some of these uh, new features. Now, Illustrator's had a charting tool for you know years and years, pretty much almost since the beginning. But that, that feature, set hasn't really been updated until now. Now it's a brand new service to Creative Cloud members uh, that works and syncs online so that you can create the best charts and always have the best features. So I'm gonna grab the, the, the new uh, CC charts tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and come down here where I've got uh, kind of a table that was created in InDesign. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag out a new chart. 
Now, of course, it comes in, it gives me a basic looking chart to begin with and a menu to be able to, to uh, work with it. Blackmagic Design has uh, released uh, DaVinci Resolve 12, which is their video editing and color correction suite. I had an opportunity to use the DaVinci Resolve free version, and it is uh, really, really good. Um, the paid version is about $1,000, but it's an excellent editor. I highly recommend that you check out some of the new features in it and see whether it interests you. And that's our news for uh, July 27th, 2015. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next Monday.